What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we caught our final Pokemon, you know, the whole generational team that we got, and we managed to evolve it. Now, before we even go into the next town, we're going to be taking the uh, small trip to the Azure Bay, if that's what it is right here. And since we do have the surf technique, it should be easy for us now. And, well, homeboy here is all happy about fishing, so let's go ahead and take care of business with him fishing. Let's go. Fisherman Cur uh, Murray coming with his, uh, oh, crud. Magikarp, so I'm assuming it's going to be six Magikarps all together. So let's go right ahead and, uh, well, bulldoze our way. Oh, jeez. You know, people say, people say you, you make fun of those people with uh, magic cards, but joke's on you when they beat you and all that stuff, with when they evolve them and stuff, but they never really evolve them. So what I'm going to do, this is easy battle for Fluff Vault. I'm just going to go and straight up just destroy him with Thunder Shocks or something like that. I don't even know. So here we go. Thunder Shocks for everyone, including this guy. Why couldn't I just, like, Thunder Shock everybody all at once just to get over it? Don't know. So here we go. Thunder Shock and... Well, this Pokemon is a little faster than all of us. There we go. And you are paralyzed, my friend, so there we go. You are pretty weak. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Look at that. Level 19. And, well, Goku grows to level 34. Everybody's going to be mooching off of uh, uh, Fluff Bolt's coattails for right now because, yes, uh... Yeah, these are Magikarps. God dang it. And we're, we're going to take one hit, at least one hit from most of these Magikarps. But here we go. Thundershock. Taking care of that business. And uh, look at that. That's right. So we're going to go again. Coming with a Magikarp again. So let's try this. Let's go ahead and use more Thundershocks than we could use. And look at that. Tackle attack on us. And bam. One hit KOs. There we go. Look at that. And here she comes out, or here he comes out with another magic card. I'm always confusing the gender right now. So let's go with Thundershock again. And yeah, we're, we're slow, but we're okay. We are okay. Anywho, guys. So, I have been. Let's see. <laughs> We have been getting a lot of text messages right now. Shout out to the person who's been text messaging me. It's hilarious. But anywho, uh, let's see. This is what, episode 23, I think. Yes, and already we've made a lot of uh, progress right here. And like I've said before, yeah, we, we're, we're probably going to finish this walkthrough a little quicker than usual because to me it seems just, it, it just seems a little... Uh, I don't know how to say it. It just seems short of uh, a whole bunch of stuff that we need to actually uh, uh, take care of. Like, usually, most of these Pokemon games come with, like, extra things, extra games, post-game or post-missions. And I think there's only, like, one post-mission in this and one legendary Pokemon capture. I think they just, like, yeah, I, I think they just got lazy with this generation right here. That's why there's no... Pokemon Z or Pokemon X and Y2 walkthroughs or anything like that, so... Yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll get this all done, but as you probably already saw, got the Water Stone right there. And now it is uh, time for us to just keep on moving on. You will be finding some interesting Pokemon in this location, like in the Azure Bay. There is a specific Dragon-type Pokemon that I would have loved to have on my team. Had it not been for the decision of, you know, the types of Pokemon that I wanted. Maybe eventually if I play Pokemon Y. You'll probably see, like, Generation generation 6 Pokemon only. And this guy does not battle us, so we're stomping him. I swam all the way here from the oceans of Hoenn, and I'm still not tired to battle. Well, let me tell you something about Hoenn right here. Kieran, he's coming with his uh, Memor or Remoraid. And, yes, Bonesaw, ready to kick some butt. Take names. Finally at level 30. I'm pretty sure we can beat him, so let's go with a Dragon Claw right here. That's right, let's go. And look at that. Oh, yes. It's a very, very good, uh, very, very good leveling up right there. And, well, Fluffle is finally learning an, a useful move, so we're going to take away Cotton Spore since Thunder Wave already paralyzes somebody right here. Or just, like, takes away speed. So there we go. And here he comes out with a Screlp. 
And that was the Pokemon I wanted to capture. Screlp, a very interesting Pokemon. Uh, it does evolve into a poison slash dragon type Pokemon. It is very, very slow though. Uh, actually, in Generation 6, some of their, you know, some of their dragon type Pokemon interest me a lot. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go straight to Fluff Vault so I can uh, try and uh, do something with this guy. So let's go, Fluff Vault. Let's go, Wilmer. Let's get it. Fluff Vault, Thundershock. And Crab Baskets. There is uh, that move right there. But since we're in the water, hopefully it shocks them all, all the way. No, it doesn't. So let's go again with another Thundershock and... This guy coming with his water pulse attack and nearly takes me out. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right now. Let's go with Gaia 3 because it does have a move to defeat this guy quickly. Now, what I've also been talking about, um, I've been talking about this on like the first five episodes back to uh, Kalos. Um, and I did post this up on my community page. I didn't, you know, and it's still up for you guys to actually vote on. Um, so, while I was completing my Pokemon Black walkthrough, I was actually playing Pokemon Sun and Moon off screen. And, you know, I've been getting further acquainted with it, and I, I feel like I got the gist of it and everything. I felt comfortable because, you know, for sure, for sure, we're gonna see the we were gonna see the walkthrough uh, very, very soon. But unfortunately, I found a little bit of a, a little bit of a what was it? A, an impasse towards that walkthrough, and that is that the Pokemon Palace is the only way to actually get online. As you can probably see onto the side of the screen right here, the internet is on in order to uh, to stream this whole uh, walkthrough right here. I don't know why it does it for the NTR viewer and uh, KitKat Slim. Don't know why it does it. If any of you guys can, you know, if you guys have knowledge of this, if you guys can tell me what what that means, then you know that would be that would be great. Um, but because of that, we actually have to keep the internet on for this game, especially Zelda games. And then, uh, you know, yeah, that's that's the way it goes. But in Sun and Moon, you're in the Pokemon Palace. That's the only way to get into the internet. You get out of the Pokemon Palace. Unfortunately you're off the internet and you can't see any of the gameplay so with that being said that puts me at a decision right here and I've already put the four decisions for you guys to vote on um, what was it if you guys uh, remember or there are four decisions and just apologize for the background uh, sounds <laughs> we got a little bit of a birthday uh, a little bit of a birthday dinner uh, being cooked right here anywho um, so Next, first is first. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy, and then I'll start ranting some more right here. So let's talk to this guy. And he's like, do you have a Mega Ring? Is that what this stone is reacting to? I see. Then you should take this with you. And bam, we get ourselves the Ampharosite. So we already got a Mega Stone for our Fluff Bolt. If Karina and the Mega Evolution Guru have recognized your skill as a Pokemon trainer, I'm sure you can master the power on your bond with your Pokemon in the Mega Stone. So there you go, guys. Got ourselves a Mega Stone. Now, yeah, more more uh, repels and all that stuff. And now, more ranting time. Battle this guy. So, like I was saying, guys, uh, NTR viewer, Kick at Slim. Pokemon games, Zelda games, you have to keep them online. Don't know why, comment down below. So, with that being said, I do have four different kinds of uh, solutions to our little problem for Generation 7. First one being, buy myself a new, or buy myself a, um, a capture card, a wired capture card. That way it eliminates the whole internet issue. Um, the only thing is that those come... Those are very rare to actually find nowadays. Uh, unfortunately, the place that actually put installs the capture card with the wire, they're out of business. You can't find it. And if you find a captured a capture card with the wire with the wire on it, people are going to be selling them for more than five hundred dollars. So that right there is just, yeah, that right there is a, a big, uh, yeah, that's that, that that's just a big, uh, what was it called, uh, investment right there. Now the second one would be. I do have a capture card that is wired. The only problem is it's in Japanese. For those who do remember, back when I was driving XC711, yeah, we did Pokemon X and Orez. 
uh, with a with a Japanese version of the whole game and you guys didn't like it so that would be the next situation the only thing is that I do have the guidebook for Pokemon Sun and Moon so it won't I won't be lost completely the only problem is the translation so that's another option the third option would have to be old-school camcorder recording kinda like what uh, Leroy Super Skarmory did they just you know it recorded uh, via camcorder and the only problem with that one would have to be kind of like what you guys have been hearing you know background noises and all that crud which uh, I'm pretty sure many of you guys don't want to do because yeah that's that's something that you probably don't want and whatever it will get done quickly though but there is that chance that you know you're gonna hear some background noise and all that crud now the final option would have to be skip Alola all together and go straight to Sun and Moon which, of course, I do have, uh, I do have, uh, the method to actually record all these episodes. It's not that hard anymore. I've already tried it out, so trust me, guys, it will happen. So, those are your four options right there, guys. And, like I said, go onto my community board and vote if you haven't voted. I know that I've been ranting about this for, like, five, six, seven episodes. But, you know, I kind of want to get everybody involved in this. That way you guys can actually, you know, have a say in what what happens into the next generation and all that stuff. Uh, my biggest pet peeve is that I restarted this whole channel on the basis of me uh, going from generation to generation uh, chronolo chronologically. But that kind of looks like it won't be it because, you know, Pokemon Palace. Whose idea was that? I really mean it. Whose idea was that? And, well... You know, we're just going to have to deal with the cards that we're dealt with right there, guys. So, again, choose what you want. I won't have any issue with it. At least you'll get a Pokemon game out of it. So, now, let's move on forward right here. There are quite a few places that you can actually find right here. I don't... Well, not places, but there's one specific place that you can actually find that it's just, you know... It's abandoned right now. And what does this say? Advanced Tips... You can cast a fishing line from a Pokemon's back when uh, when using Surf to move across a water. That is true. Very, very true. And we're not going to do that because we're not interested in any Pokemon right here yet. And, well, we're going to be going. And, yes, I know that I'm wasting repels on nothing, but, you know, we're actually going to get somewhere eventually. And here we found ourselves a dive ball. First of its kind, you can actually capture any Pokemon with... Uh, what was it, uh, if you fish them and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do right now is, actually, you know what? We're going to battle right here. And, yeah. I don't know if it's... Hold on. Okay. Okay, how do we stand? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is spot. Care for a skate battle? Yes, we are. I know, I know. It's a battle you want. So here it is, guys. A sky, Our first sky battle against uh, Alada, and she will be having her Flachinder, or Kinder, whatever you like to call it, but here it is, Godzilla number three, ready to kick some butt. And, well, let's go with a wing attack, since uh, Flachinder, Flachinder, don't know how to say its name, is a fire-type Pokemon, and look at that. Not so strong right there, but it is increased its speed. So here we go again with another wing attack. Bam. Look at that. Our first sky battle, and we're kicking ass. Look at that. So here she comes out with a Pelipper. Now, this is going to be a difficult one because Pelipper is a water type Pokemon. So we're going to Dragon Rage it all the way right here. Look at that. And the hell does it do? Oh, wow. I thought it was going to I thought it was going to hit me with a water type attack, but that ain't the case right there. And look at that. Pelipper has been defeated. Look at that. Usually these battles get me a little nervous because some of these uh, Sky Battle Pokemon trainers have electric types, water types on them, and I normally have just one flying type Pokemon, and it's just like, you know, never good, never good. So, moving on right here, I think there's another trainer here that we can battle, but the end result is to get, a, get to Azure Bay right here. Honestly, there, there's really nothing that you can find in Azure Bay. Zubay, I should say, and uh, is there anything here? No. Alright. Uh, let's move on right here. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so I'm trying to look for 
I'm trying to look for the... Oh, there it is. Okay, so here it is, Azure Bay. Probably, I don't know. Yes! And we're going to keep on doing the repel and all that stuff. So, let's get in here. Now, here we are in the Sea Spirit's Den. There is literally nothing in here, but eventually you'll be able to find one of the three legendary birds from Kanto. The only problem is that you're going to have to find that specific legendary Pokemon three friggin' times. No, 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 I lie, I lie. Ten friggin' times. Ten times, guys. And then, boom, find them right there. No joke. It's sort of annoying. It really is. And that's all the, yeah, all that you need to find right there. So, let's move on all the way back and uh, head back uh, to whatever city that we're supposed to go to. I'm pretty sure I skipped a few trainers here and there. I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I, I do not know. So, here we are moving forward and yes i'm gonna be i'm gonna just use this the hell out of these uh these uh repels and here we found a big pearl that's not the poke oh wait that is the pokeball right there and well let's see right here no nothing right there that looks like an r it really does uh some of those pokemon that you can actually find right here hold on i'm gonna get the handbook to read this and all that crud all right so let's see we've already done that we've already passed that Okay, so... Fishing spot. There are quite a few trainers you can battle right here, and the only thing you need is a Surf attack. Pokemon you can find right here are Alomamola and Wingles, obviously. The Tall Grass you can find, Chatut, Execute, Inke, and Slowpoke. A Hoarding, a hoarding Counter would involve Execute, Slowpoke, and Wingle. Now, Cracked Rocks you can actually find, Binacle and Dweeble, and then in the Water Surface, Believe it or not, guys, you can actually find Lapras here, but they're very, very rare. Mantike and Tentacool. And then fishing with an old rod, Love Disc, Good Rod, Chinchow, and Remorade. And then Super Rod, Alomomola, Lantern, and Octillery. So these are pretty good, uh, pretty good spots to actually get to. Now, like I said before, you, you will find a legendary Pokemon in the Sea Spirit's Den, but that won't be until way, way later on right there, so... Yeah, kind of, uh, kind of sucks. So what I'm gonna try to do is, uh, I'm gonna battle another sea... Well, and I'm gonna battle another guy, another sky battle right here. And before we do that, let's go ahead and, uh... Not that, I wasn't gonna do that, but let's go with Godzilla right here. And... There we go, let's see, care for sky battle? Yes! Let's do this. Okay, so here we go. Sky Trainer Indra wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Sigilyph, or I don't even know if it's a he or a she. Sorry if I genderized you. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use... Well, let's go ahead and use anything we want, because this guy is a Psychic and Flying type Pokemon, and Sigilyph just looking like, like a big old Sigilyph. Of course, I am uh, paralyzed as hell, so let's finish this guy off with the uh, Dragon Rage, and this guy coming with a Charge Beam, super effective, and yes, it does raise it, its attack, so we're kind of screwed here, because, uh, yeah, if we get paralyzed, like, if we stay paralyzed again, we're not going to win this match, and, oh god, here we go, Dragon Rage, and there we go, Sigilyph defeated, that was a close one right there. That really was, and uh, feeling blue. That's right, you're feeling blue, a-hole. You're feeling blue. Okay, so that was a good victory on our part. <laughs> and, well, it is time to leave because uh, there really isn't a lot that we can do right here. I think we already battled everybody. So, that was that was Azure Bay and everything, guys. I, I really wasn't planning on, you know, showcasing it, but since we're... Today, you know, I'm kind of trying to get 10 episodes out. It is what it is. So, we're going to stay right here again. Next episode, we're finally getting into the town, and we're going to take a tour of the whole place, and then we'll see what happens from there, okay? So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.